This video is brought to you by Soccer.com, North America's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code 10SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you an unboxing plus on feet video of the brand new Under Armour Blur Carbon 3 in kangaroo leather. So open up the box here to get a look at what is on the inside. Included with the shoes are two sets of laces, one white set and one black set, both of which are pre-sampled on the left and right shoes. That's it for extras though, so I'll get the shoes out of the box really quickly. Get this box out of the way. And if you guys could take a quick second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the kangaroo leather version of the Blur Carbon 3. Um, I do have previous experience with the Blur Carbon model. Um, I have reviewed the synthetic version, so I'll leave a link in the description to that if you do want to check that out, get some more information on the boot. But basically the gist of the Blur Carbon 3 model is that it is very innovative, it's very technologically advanced, and it's unlike anything else out there in that the shoe was designed with truly new ideas and new concepts that really do work. So I'm really excited to see how the implementation of a kangaroo leather upper as opposed to a synthetic upper is going to work with this particular model. Now, the whole concept or the whole concept around the design of the Blur Carbon 3 is to have a shoe that is designed around changing direction and changing of speeds and to prevent any kind of rollover on the shoe. They kind of label this as the ultimate direction changing machine and it really does work that well. The most notable feature of the shoe itself is going to be this carbon fiber lateral wing you see on the outside. It does have plastic, it does stick out a little bit, and of course you do have your carbon fiber there. And a lot of people are going to assume that that's gonna get in the way. It's an unusual design element. You don't normally see hard plastic elements on the upper of a soccer shoe, but basically the whole concept of this little lateral wing on the outside here is to prevent any kind of rollover in the shoe. So when you are pushing off towards the outside, which is very, very common movement when it comes to soccer, this lateral wing is going to support that outside area of the upper and prevent any kind of movement on the inside of the shoe, giving you a very, very responsive feel. This chrome material on the outside, which is a design element you're gonna find with pretty much every colorway of the Blur Carbon 3, not just the kangaroo leather model, is also part of the design. It's not necessarily there for touch, although it will provide a decent touch on the ball. It's there more so for stability and just to reinforce this lateral side of the upper as it is a very, very solid material. Now obviously the highlight of the Blur Carbon 3 in kangaroo leather is the upper itself. So all of this white area you see here, the top of the foot, the four foot toe box area, and of course the entire instep is made from a very soft, very high quality kangaroo leather with minimal stitching. So you can see in the four foot and toe box area, there's barely any stitching at all. It's incredibly soft from right out of the box. You do have your Under Armour logo there kind of screen printed on. And then of course you have this kind of X pattern stitching going through there. Very, very minimal stitching design. I'm curious to see how much this shoe is going to stretch. And then of course you do have your fold over design. It's something you saw a lot of with the older T90 models where it wraps from the inside, folding over the tongue, over the top of your foot, sorry, and then finishing on the outside of your foot. There is no physical tongue as you guys can see, and it works very, very well. You have your lace holes here on the outside, the top three. Then of course you have your loophole lacing all the way through there. And overall, it just works really, really well. I'm excited to try these on. It felt great in the synthetic model. I'm sure it's gonna feel just as good in the kangaroo leather model. And again, just a touch on the quality of the kangaroo leather here. Under Armour has always put out really high quality natural materials. And the kangaroo leather on this shoe feels absolutely fantastic in my opinion. One of the unusual design elements of the Blur Carbon 3, along with the lateral wing, is of course the cut at the ankle. You can see it's almost a straight cut as opposed to being rounded on both the outside and inside of the shoes. This worries a lot of people in terms of blistering and discomfort and just locking your heel in place, but it does that very, very well. You can see these lines here on the inside do have a little bit of a grippy texture to them to lock your heel in place. And if you're worried about this causing any kind of friction or anything like that, it actually feels very, very good and it gets out of the way of your ankle, which you'll see a little bit later in the on feet portion of the video. Give you guys a quick look at the insole on the inside because it is part of the reason why this shoe is so comfortable. You do have your 4D foam top layer of the insole. This is the green part. You can see it's a very, very thin layer. And this just provides some really, really soft cushioning, while the orange part of the insole, or the main section of the insole, is made from micro G foam. It's a very, very responsive, dense foam material. You can see the thickness of this insole. 
feels very, very comfortable. You're going to find this type of foam in pretty much all of Under Armour's high-end products. Not just their soccer shoes, but also their runners, their trainers, their basketball shoes. And overall, this is probably the most cushioned and most comfortable insole you're going to find in any soccer shoe currently out there on the market. As far as the sole plate and stud pattern itself goes, the sole plate is a combination of carbon fiber, which is what you have running through the heel and midfoot as you can see, whereas this white section in the front is made from a P-back material, which is a very, very responsive type of plastic. The stud pattern itself is also somewhat unusual in that you have your five conical studs that are very narrow in their profile, have some decent length to them as well, and just penetrate the ground really, really easily. Whereas you have this little section right here, these three studs act as one in unison with this carbon fiber lateral wing to really support this outside of the foot. So when you are pushing off, you have maximum grip and maximum traction while preventing any kind of rollover, giving you a very responsive feel. It's a unique feeling shoe and overall it just works really, really well. It's definitely a great idea and a great implementation by um, Under Armour on this particular boot. And then the heel, as you can see, you do have your four blade studs, nothing unusual there. As far as the carbon fiber goes, you do have this kind of um, one bar going through the middle and the stiffness you get from this particular carbon fiber layout is incredible. It's probably the stiffest midfoot you're going to find on any soccer shoe while still maintaining plenty of flexibility in the forefoot area. And overall, it's just a very comfortable ride along with that Micro G insole. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. And we'll move on now to a quick weigh in so you can get an idea of how lightweight these shoes are. The Blur Carbon 3 obviously features a very lightweight construction and with the addition of the kangaroo leather upper, it does weigh a little bit more than its synthetic counterpart. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind that the condition is brand new and they're size 10 US but they fit more like a 9. We'll throw that on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 7.7 .7 ounces exactly. Um, very lightweight for a shoe that features a predominantly kangaroo leather upper. Still is going to provide that nice lightweight feel while still providing a soft leather touch on the ball. So you can't really ask for too much more. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of this video goes. And move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. Alright, here's a look at the kangaroo leather blur carbon threes on feet. And I have to say that I'm really impressed by how these shoes fit and feel although the sizing is definitely way off. Um, like any natural leather soccer shoe, it does require some breaking time until the leather starts to mold to your feet and they start to feel more worn in. Um, so for as for right now, they still feel very comfortable. The leather is nice and soft and that 40 foam insole just provides some really, really good cushioning. Everything feels locked in place. And even though you don't have an actual tongue, the fold of the leather itself still feels very, very comfortable and just wraps your foot nice and tightly without having any kind of rubbing or chafing, which is always very important. As far as the overall fit of the shoe itself goes, I wouldn't say that it's an overly wide fitting shoe, but again, it's tough to say because it is a brand new kangaroo leather shoe. I've never worn it. I'm not sure how much it's going to stretch, um, but for the most part, I would say it's about average in width from the midfoot, forefoot, and toe box area. Um, so it will fit most people just as long as you don't have an overly wide foot. Um, in terms of sizing, I'm wearing a size 10 US, um, which feels pretty good from right out of the box. My toe is right at the end. Normally I would wear a size 9. These are a 10, they seem to fit pretty good. Under Armour was kind enough to send over a 10 as well as a 9.5, depending on how much they're actually going to stretch. Um, so in terms of what size you should get if you're interested in a pair, um, a full size up seems to be pretty safe, but again, I'm not sure if they're going to stretch a lot. So if you want the best possible sizing, I would suggest hanging on until I put out my review, which should be in the next couple of weeks. So that's pretty much it as far as the on feet portion of this video goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, it's it for my unboxing of the Kangaroo Leather Blur Carbon 3. Can't wait to give these guys a try. I was a big fan of the synthetic model, and the Kangaroo Leather version of the shoe definitely seems very promising. The quality is great. The fit is great. They're very, very comfortable. And overall, it just seems like a very, very good shoe. So look out for my full review, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. While I get to testing these guys, let me know down below in the comments if you guys would be interested in seeing a playtest video of this particular shoe. I know Under Armour is not the most popular when it comes to soccer, but something like this I believe should have some kind of showcase. But of course you guys have to want to see it for me to do it. 
Um, so again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to support it with a like. Be sure to check out the review page down below in the description. In the meantime, you will find the high quality images of this exact pair here to give you a better idea as to how it actually does look in person, as well as buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get yourself some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media links down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.